Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you how I prepared for 2024. So for 2024, I have so much fun stuff coming. I'm going to concerts, festivals. I have some great classes that I'm excited to take in college. So I definitely have so many projects that I want to start in 2024, but none of that can be done if I'm not prepared for the entire year. So the first thing I did is I reflected on my 2023 year. And what I do with this is I go for each month and basically write any events or things that I did. I personally like to write these, like hand write these on notebooks because it just feels, I don't know, for most things I like to use pen and paper to actually write stuff down. So that's what I prefer to do. And this really, really helps to see everything I did in the past year and really see everything I've accomplished over the past year. And then once that's done, I feel like I've closed off 2023. So I actually got started on prepping for the new year. So I like to to set goals first before I do anything else but like we all know it's pretty unpredictable and my life just isn't at a point where I can actually set goals for the entire year because I never know what's gonna happen so I like to just kind of set goals for either January or the first quarter of the year because I feel like that's way more realistic to do so and I like to set goals in four areas I guess so the four areas I like to set goals in are work social media school and habits and to prep my goals I like to do that in two different steps so I actually say like whatever the goal is like save a certain amount of money and then from there I write like a step-by-step -step what I can actually achieve that goal instead of just putting down that goals because I feel like sometimes it can be kind of scary just to see one big goal on a piece of paper instead of little steps to achieve that goal so my goals for January as far as work I have two different jobs right now I was editing YouTube videos for another influencer and then I'm also working for my dad's company I'm just like scanning documents it's not really anything too bad and both of those I can do like with my own schedule and I can work from home which is really really nice especially if you're in college and you have like a pretty demanding major because sometimes I just don't have time to work like an eight-hour shift and I only have an hour here and there so I'm really really lucky that I get to do that all from home and kind of create my own schedule and my classes only start in like the end of January I only start the 22nd I think I definitely have time to work and just do all of that before and accomplish my work goals before I start school so basically my goal for work before the end of January is just to work a lot and save a lot of money that way I don't have that pressure to work as much when I'm back in school and then my school goes for January like I said I'm not starting classes until the 22nd so it's not like I can actually like bring up my grades or anything because I just don't have time I don't have classes to do so so my my goals for school for January is to actually set myself up for success once the semester starts. I already know what classes I'm taking so what I'm going to try to do is figure out the best way for me to study in each of these subjects because with like chemistry and biology and math like it's not the same ways of studying for each subject so I really want to do some kind of research and see what works and have a bunch of options so that way once I start studying I have a plan to study as effectively as possible next my goals for january as far as social media is to prep as much stuff as i can before school starts i had a long break from posting youtube videos because i just didn't prepare myself and i did not think that my classes were going to be this much work so i just did not have time to film edit and post every single video so since i have this huge break right now i'm going to try to get as many videos filmed and like ready to go so that once school starts i don't have as much pressure to actually get those done and then lastly my goals for january as far as habits or like wellness mm. health thing i used to have really really good healthy habits i used to go to the gym every day drink like so much water eat really really healthy but i kind of let that go in 2023 i'm not gonna lie i really want to try to get back in those habits so for january i want to start like slowly getting back into those habits i know it's not all gonna happen like in january because it takes a while to actually get 
everything back in order i guess but yeah that's my goal for january is to kind of slowly start to get back into that routine that i had so once all of that was done i went on to creating my vision board the reason i do my goals before doing my vision board is that way i can get inspo from my goals and put them in my vision board so i make my vision boards i take all of my pictures from pinterest and then i go on to canva and just make my vision board yeah what i like to do is usually set it as my desktop like wallpaper so that way i'm always seeing it and i feel like more motivated to get all my work done the next thing that i do is make my yearly bucket list now i don't like cross all of these off in a year these are just like some stuff that i think will be fun to do so if i ever get like the chance to do them then I'll do them. This is always really, really fun to do because it kind of makes you think of all the things you could possibly do in a year. Like there's so much time in a year, but there's also not that much time in a year. So it's kind of weird and you have to balance yourself out. And I like to get all of my ideas from either Pinterest, TikTok, and then I also kind of base it of what events I know I'm going to be going to or like traveling and stuff like that. Like if I know I'm traveling to Europe, then I can set my bucket list for some things that are done in in Europe and then I put that in my notion because it's way easier and you can kind of carry it anywhere and then the last thing I did to prepare for 2024 which I do every once in a while is to kind of reevaluate my organization system I am a pretty organized person in which I had to be if I wasn't so organized I don't think I could pull off doing all of these things at the same time so I always switch up the way I organize things depending on the amount of stuff I'm doing and everything so and I also don't have like every single thing organized in one place there are some things that i like to write down in a notebook some things i like to have in my notion or in my google drive like there's so many things that i use to stay organized and yeah i kind of go over that and see what's working the best right now and then i also decluttered my room if you haven't watched that video yet then go watch it because that is definitely something you want to do before going into any like new month or year or whatever so yeah that is how i prepared for 20 24. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time.